Hello everyone, welcome to Two Car Pros. My name is Ryan and today we're going to be taking a look at how to replace the engine oil and filter for a 2005 Honda Civic Hybrid 1.3 liter. There's really not much to it, so let's just jump into it. Alright, the first thing we're going to do is take a 17mm socket or wrench and remove the oil pan drain bolt. And make sure your catch basin is ready. There we go. We're going to let that drain out. Alright, the next thing we're going to do is wipe this mating surface here to make sure that's nice and clean. Like that. And then our nice and clean oil pan drain bolt that is something we cleaned off camera. We're going to go ahead and replace that. We'll tighten that back up with our 17 millimeter here. And if you don't have a torque wrench, medium tight is good. If you do have a torque wrench, the torque spec is on screen. There we go. Now we can move on to the oil filter, which is uh, right here. Alright, so here's our oil filter on the uh, front of the vehicle here, towards the front. So if your oil filter is on very, very tight, you can grab a pair of large channel locks to uh, help break it loose and get it off there. Golly, who put this thing on? The Hulk? Ugh. Ow. There we go. That's going to leak some oil. It's totally normal. Get your catch pan ready. I'm actually going to wait until this is just... Stop dribbling. Now we can back it out the rest of the way here. Now on the oil filter you see this, you see this gasket here, this rubber one? That needs to come with the filter um, because if it's stuck up there you need to reach up. You need to reach up there and grab it and I'll show you that in just a moment. So this is where the oil filter attaches to the oil pan here and we want to clean, not only clean the mating surface off for the o-ring, you want to look up there, or for gasket not o-ring, uh, you want to look up there and make sure there isn't excess material like this right here. All that needs to come off. And uh, if there's a uh, gasket sitting up here, you need to peel that off. You want to make sure this is just metal here so you don't have an interfering uh, gasket material because that will cause a leak. And this is what your mating surface wants to look like. So it's nice and clean. There's absolutely no gasket material left. There's no uh, old oil in there. So it's all nice and clean. Now we can move on. All right, so here is the oil filter we're gonna be using today, an AC Delco PF2057. There's a link down below in the description for you if you like, or you can use the Honda one. I only recommend using a reputable parts dealer like AC Delco or Honda to put on your Honda vehicle. But I couldn't find a Honda filter, so I went with AC Delco. Very good. So the next thing we're going to do is wet our finger with some new oil and apply it to this o-ring here, or gasket, not o-ring. There we go. Make sure that gasket is nice and coated with a nice film of new oil and we can take this back to the vehicle. No, you don't need to pre-fill it. All right, now we can replace our oil filter. I'll just spin on like that. So once you get it to the snug stage, it's another three quarters turn or uh, just snug, hand tight. <clears throat> because you don't want to use tools on this. Never use tools to tighten an oil filter. Only use your hands. <clears throat> there we go. That's pretty good. All right. The next thing we're going to do is remove the oil cap here. <clears throat> like that and place a funnel. All right, so Honda says that this thing takes 3.4 quarts once you have changed the oil with the filter and four quarts if you've completely overhauled the engine. So we're gonna put in 3.4 quarts and check it. And for oil today, we are using Mobile One Zero W, Zero W20. Um, and it says right there for many Hondas GM, Nissan, and Toyotas. Full synthetic. All right, pull the dipstick out, wipe that off. That back down there. And see where we're at on the oil level. So it's a little hard to see because the oil is so thin, but it's a little bit above the full mark, which is that second dot just there. Um, but we still haven't started the engine yet, so we're gonna go ahead and 
do that. But before we do that, we need to uh, put the oil cap back on. Just like that. We're gonna let the engine run for about 30 seconds. All right, we're gonna check it again here. Wipe off the dipstick. Insert that fully into its home. Pull it back out. And you can see the bulk of the oil. I know it's gonna be really tough because this oil is so thin. The bulk of the oil is nearly, you're just gonna have to trust me on this one, is nearly to the second dot. So 3.4 quarts is correct. But if it's a little short of that line, that dot, go ahead and add some more. Just don't go over that second dot. So that's how you change the oil for your 2005 uh, Honda 1.3 liter hybrid. It's really easy and straightforward. You don't even have to put all that much oil in there. 3.4 quarts isn't a ton. And all the applicable links down below in the description will help you out a ton if you're confused about what filter or oil to get. Doing this repair yourself is going to save you hundreds of dollars just now and thousands over the lifetime of your vehicle. And you know the job's being done correctly. But if you enjoy this type of content, consider subscribing down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.